Guys, I'm gonna create a series of videos that will give you something that I so wish somebody would have given me when I first started deploying networks. How to handle carriers. I know some of you may think I'm a bit extreme when I say what I'm about to say, but some of the worst experiences in my professional life has been dealing with carriers. And, and first off, I, I, wanna, I wanna preface this because I know a lot of people listening to this may be working for a carrier and you're like, well, what, what did we do? Like, like I, I, would, I would say half of it, I'm like, it's, it's not their fault. It's just like, I can't imagine some of the stuff that they deal with where there's customers calling in and they've got a bad router and they're like, it's your problem. I know it's your, and then, you know, and then they're like, oh, it is my problem. Oh yeah. And it's not like they apologize or anything. They're just like, oh yeah, whatever. Click, hang up. Like the carriers have to go through a lot of, a lot of stuff, but, but literally, and I, I, it's going to feel, it feels a little weird being as vulnerable as I am right now. When I was putting together the notes of like, oh, let me, let me just rethink some of the experiences that I've gone through. I literally got choked up. Like I was like, am I going to cry when I record this video? Like, like that's, that's a, like, I'm talking about experiences of being on conference bridges for 48 hours straight, like, like no sleep, you know, just, just kind of hanging there waiting in, in customers that literally have had to shut down their business because, because the, the, all of the connectivity that provided their business in is going down and, and, and they're, they're uh, like, Oh my, like I got to stop there. Like that, because there's like, and I've, I've, I've dealt with, with, you know, the finger pointing and it's, it's, it's gotta be your fault. And, and here's the thing, here's the, and this is gonna, this, I, I, I'm going to say this, please know, know my heart. When I say this, it's going to come up, sound really egotistical, but I've had to pull rank a lot on carrier calls. And what I mean by that is like, I'm, I'm talking to somebody, I'm at like level 50. Cause there's like so many levels of escalation and, and, and they're like, this is your problem. And I finally have had to say, do you know who I am? And like, and they're, they're like, you know, initially, and I've actually had to get to somebody who's like, oh, that guy knows what he's doing. You, you need to, you need to live. And, and so, so the only reason I tell you that is because I have such a heart for people that are on the call and they can't pull rank. And I'm like, I don't know what they do. So, so, so that being said, it all starts with finding a carrier, which is the topic of this video. And before I go any further, I just, I want to get this while it's on the top of my head. I found a guy, I, I know a guy, and I want you to know a guy about 10 years ago uh, who started a company to deal with this specific topic, finding a carrier. Uh, he runs a company called Carrier Bid. His name is Matt. And that's all he does is form relationships with all these carriers. So when, you, let's say you've got a, 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 a new office that you're building and you're like, I need an internet connection, right? You call him and he's like, look, here, it's, it's like the guy with the trench coat. Boom, here's what I got for you, you know, for all these different carriers. And the cool thing is this, is you don't pay him. He gets his money from, from all the carriers. Like he's, he's considered an external, uh, there, so much logistics that I can tell you. My, my point is you, if, if you're bringing up a new connection, you want to give this guy a call. Um, I'm actually going to put the link in the description of this video. It'll save you so much time. Okay. So, so that being said, let me tell you who the carriers are because your options aren't as vast as you may think. If you're living in the United States of America, there are really only six carriers. <laughs> and before I show them to you, I, I already know people are like, no way. There's so many more carriers. Ah, oh, no. There are really only six carriers <laughs> because if you're using somebody that's not on the list, I'm about to show you, chances are good. You're using a carrier that is simply reselling another one of these kids. So there's so much I can tell you about carriers. I, I've got to scope it in. So hang on six big carriers divided into two groups. The first is the coax cable group. That is the, the companies that originated dealing with the, the coaxial cable that runs in the, in uh, the ground that powers our cable TV or used to power our cable TV before the internet connected worked everywhere, right? And you can see them right here. They are Cox, Comcast, and Spectrum, right? Now, and, and I want to make sure you know, nowadays, everybody's running for the fiber roads, right? All of these carriers on the coax and DSL side, which I'm about to show you, are all trenching up the streets one more time, running fiber optic cable as far as it can. Eventually, someday, we're going to be in a world where everything's fiber and, and or whatever comes after fiber, you know, connections to your head or whatever. Um, but but as of right now, they're still using coax for the last mile, meaning the, the last uh, piece of the connection that reaches your house, right? So uh, house, business, what, you know what I'm saying, right? So that's, that's the coax guys. Now on the DSL side, you've got CenturyLink 
AT&T and Verizon. And know that they survived through through many of the, the, the mergers and changes of names and all that kind of stuff. Like, like CenturyLink just recently, acqu I'll say, acquired Level 3, even though Level 3 kind of took over CenturyLink. They kept the, uh, there's, there's like soap opera drama with all of these things. Okay, so right, you've got, you've got these six carriers that you see right on the screen. Nobody else. Now I want to come back to the people that are, are sitting there going, well, well, wait, I've got, I've got, you know, Freddy Fly ISP or something like that. They're, they're the ones that have my DSL connection or my, my cable connection or my fiber connect, you know, and I'll, I'll talk about the different levels of service in, an, in another video altogether. But you know, it's Freddy Fly. Freddy Fly is my, so why, why are they not on the list? Well, the truth be told, anybody can be a carrier. Right? Matter of fact, I, I uh, started a managed service provider, an MSP, 10 years ago. We are a carrier. When I when I come into to, uh, a new business or a new school or, or something that we're taking over, I don't I don't talk about Cox or Verizon or, or Central. I, I say we are your carrier, and they go, what, what do you mean? I'm like, you like you'll call us. We will bring in the connection. Uh, you'll pay us the monthly fee. You, you will call us. Now now what's happening behind the scenes is we're actually reselling one of these other ones, and it's just our our portfolio of clients has gotten so big that we go to this this uh, carrier and we say, hey. We're we're bringing you know a hundred thousand dollars a month, two hundred thousand dollars a month in in business to you. Uh, we need a massive discount, and and they're they're absolutely willing to do that so that we can make some margin, and then we can support that internet connection rather than the customer having to call Cox and deal with you know them or, or Verizon or anything like that. We take on the load of all the support of that connection. And we'll we'll take care of the carriers behind the scene, right? And there's so many companies way bigger than than Via, my company, that has done that, um, and they become carriers themselves. Themselves, but the chances are good they're simply rebrand. I mean, so so to be a carrier, let me let me just answer this one question. What do you have to do to be a real carrier? Grab a shovel <laughs> and start digging, right? And putting cable in the ground. And before long, you're gonna start realizing, you know what? It's not cost effective for me to run my own fiber between all of these. I, why don't I just why don't I just borrow CenturyLink's fiber because they ran it, you know, 20 years ago and had a budget of 15 trillion dollars, right? So how about I just how about I use their fiber? Right, right, and 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 I'll and I'll just put my label on it, and that's that's what all the carriers that aren't here on the screen have done. So the last thing I want to talk about then is, well, then how how can Freddie Fly be cheaper? And by by the way, there, you know, there's no Freddie Fly ISP, right? I just made them up, right? But how can they give you a rate cheaper than the the, the carrier that they're using you to resell? Well. <laughs> Welcome to government. Uh, a long time ago, I mean, does anyone remember uh, what was it? Um, Bell, uh, you know, Ma Bell, the giant Ma. Does anyone remember this? Right, long ago there was the carrier, the mother of all carriers, which pretty much took over the whole nation and became a monopoly. And so the, the government is like, you can't do that. And bam, they broke it up into all of these. They, they actually called them the baby bells. It was, it's a fun story and all that kind of stuff. But it's at that point that they created litigation that said, we will not have this kind of monopoly system again. You have to. So if, so if, you're, if you're one of these carriers that, that sell the cable under the ground, right, that actually grabbed your shovel, put in the time, effort, sweat, and, and, and money to run the cable, the government forces you to sell that cable and let other so, to, to let your competitors use that cable cheaper than than anybody else and i'm there's i'm sure so much politics and blah 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 behind it whatever you believe on on whether that's good or bad it is what it is so freddy fly can get a way cheaper price uh to to, to do CenturyLink uh connectivity because they are considered a carrier than than you ever could so that's why freddy fly can undercut even the companies whose cable that they're using. Isn't that, are you following this? It's, that's the craziness and, and, and kudos to you. You get to benefit from that. You can go sign up for a connection from Freddy Fly cheaper than CenturyLink, but, but fair warning. If you do that, you're now dealing with two carriers, even though you don't know it. Your connection goes down, right? You call Freddy Fly. You're like, Freddy, what's going on? And he's like, dude, it's CenturyLink. They're, you know, it's their connection to, and you're like, well, I thought it was, da, da, da. and they're like, no, you, you're like, now, Fred, to be fair, Freddy Fly should be the one to get on the phone with CenturyLink, but I'm telling you of the battle wounds I've been, I've had in the past, I've, I've dealt, like, sometimes you'll have a, 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 a WAN connection, wide area network connection, right? That goes across the nation and it will be partner after partner after handoff after, you know, and all this kind of stuff. And it'll be some guy that you can't even contact, right? Along, along the chain. And the carrier's like, ah, you know, I've, I've tried like, oh. 
guys, <laughs> sometimes I will tell you, just going direct to the to the real provider can save you. And, and, I'm, and I'm not even saying all the time, but it can save you the hassle of dealing with the layers of providers on top of layers. Now, now keep in mind, if you're doing a, a long WAN connection, you may end up with a CenturyLink bridged over to a Verizon, bridged over to a Spectrum, and, and you, you end up having to deal with that, that politics anyway, simply because there's no carrier that owns all the cable nationwide, right? So, so what do I want you to take away from this video? I know it's been a little bit longer. I just, and, and there's, it, it, you can tell it's just be, it's like I'm a sailor on a ship and I'm like, let me tell you about the big one. You know, it's like, there's, there's so many stories I could tell you. And I will, as we go through the story, just, just because again, there's so much that you can gain from a lot of the pain that I've gone through without having to go through the pain yourself. So, so what I want you to take away from this is one, there really are only, at least in the United States, six primary carriers that you can deal with, right? So right there, snapshot that, and, and that's, hang on, I'll, I'll even clear off my little chicken scratch there, right? That's your list that, that uh, you can call, and, that, and that's about it. Second thing is save yourself the pain of trying to figure out who's got the cheapest rate and deal with all that. Go with somebody, I mean, if you don't use carrier bid, then use somebody like them. I, I know there's others out there that do it. I'm just telling you because they've, they've worked really well with me in the past. So, uh, so, so again, click that link down there. Uh, third thing is the, the challenge of dealing with layers of carriers. So walk in eyes wide open when you're asking for a new connection and it, it might, <laughs> whoops, I got so excited. I hit the stop button on my recording and, and cut it all off, but it might even be one of these carriers. Like, like, so here's a question that you might ask. You might say, uh, you know, I've got this, this office here in, in, you know, let's just say Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm trying to connect to this office over here in, in Detroit, Michigan, right? Uh, that's, that's my birthplace, Dearborn, Michigan, actually. I'll just put uh, DB, Michigan. Um, chances are really good that you'll have, you know, carrier one for that leg and then carrier two for that leg and then, you know, back to carrier one for this leg because, again, they join together. So, so before you sign up for that WAN link, you might be like, okay, do you, is there any other way? Because because maybe maybe uh, if they if you ask them if and they won't tell you if you don't ask right if you ask them and they're like okay yeah with this and this and this you might give carrier two a call and be like hey I want to deal with just one person the whole way are you that one person do you have one single connection because the less jumps that you have along the way like like that is at the root of of like scars on my soul of dealing with carriers is is and i'll just tell you this this last one you'll be on the phone right and and you're talking to to let's i'm gonna make it up this is not this is not what really happens let's say you're talking to spectrum right and and you're on the you're on the phone with spectrum and you're like my connection's down. What's the problem? And they'll be like, oh, it's a, it's a Verizon card along the way. And you're like, well, why can't Verizon fix the card? And he, they're like, oh, we're trying to talk to them. They, they, you know, they've just got all their, you're like, can I, like, we're down. Can I call Verizon? They're like, no, I'm sorry. You can't do that because we have to call them. And, and you're like, and then, and then you're like five times removed from it. You're like, can I, can I just call them and, and start crying and let them feel the pain in my voice. They're like, no, sir, I'm sorry. Like, like that's, that's the kind of place that you can be dealing with these layers of carriers. So, so that being said, and that that's again, where, where that carrier bid comes to the rescue. A lot of times a company like that, if, if you don't go with them, go with somebody like them, they can be your champion because they've got the relationships in all these carriers. So oh, I'm breathing. It's that simple. Go with go with an, an organizer who can put all these pieces together. That's that's one of the big takeaways that I want you to have from this. Again, my friends, that's all I have to say on this one topic for now. Keep it simple.